get a haircut. Step two, let's go to the grocery store. Step three, let's make fire ass samples. Step four, let's make fire ass beats. That's the day. It's music, Nick. I don't know if it's episode 125 of the cook-up series or if it's episode of the vlog. I don't know what this is. This is my YouTube channel, so welcome to it. If you've been here, you know I appreciate you so much. Y'all are the shit. Yeah, man, it's gonna be a good day. So, strap in, put your seatbelts on, let's fucking get it. All right, we got ourselves a fresh haircut. You know, shout out Supercuts. Um, and uh, you know we got ourselves some goodies from uh, the old dispensary, and uh, I'm about to hit up Trader Joe's, and yeah, that's the trifecta: haircut, dispensary, groceries. Again, still you know riding around bumming juice world. So gonna be some more of those vibes today on the beats, and uh, you know, R.I.P. You know. Not cool, man. It's just it's disappointing. It's very disappointing. He's a dope ass fucking artist, and uh, I know a lot of us, and myself, and a lot of you guys watch the videos are a fan, so it's very sad. But uh, yeah, man, let's go get some groceries. We'll head back to the crib, make some more uh, beats inspired by his sound. Let's do it. Yeah, we're back at the crib. I'm not really sure like how happy I am with like the haircut I got today, but like I guess if you go to like Supercuts, that's what you get. You get whatever the fuck they want to give you that day. So. uh Anyway, let's make our, uh, we're gonna make another like sad, emo, trap type beat, another Juice World type beat, and um, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna pull on here in my scales, I'm gonna do a natural minor scale, so that's just the natural minor scale, natural minor aeolian on C all the way up and down to stretch it for eight bars total, then we can write our melody in there and then we can transpose it later, and again I wanna do like a piano driven beat, so we're gonna hop into addictive keys. Let's write a chord progression, write a little top line off of that. We'll start layering that up with some instruments, some arts, write some top lines, go crazy with it, and then that'll be the melody that we'll do the drums. And that's the plan. Let's do it. I keep doing this, I forget to change the tempo and I start writing the thing, so it's at 140. I don't like the bounce of it, so let's put it up to like, uh, let's go. Um, fuck it, uh, 182, we'll go a little bit fast with this one. We're gonna make this melody extra long. We're gonna have it multiple parts. We're just gonna go 16 bars on this. And so then we'll double this out and then we'll add like a secondary top line to the second half.
that little piece right there, that octave at the end, just like the last beat that we did. A little rising octave, I think that that's like really like that Nick Mirror feel. And then we added in like a little precursor to that, just these subtle ones right here. Just to get you ready for that. So it's not, that doesn't come out of nowhere with that feel. We got a little previews of it along the way with this. Alright, I really like that. That's a good start. So, uh, now we're gonna keep that piano in there. <clears throat> Let's maybe just add like a little bit of reverb. Again, drag down the dry all the way, just leave the wet here, what it's actually doing. The sound of that. I think we're gonna do a similar thing to we did yesterday. Let's pair that up. Let's grab Omnisphere, throw that in there, see how that sounds. Like just pairing that up with something, just give this like uh for like in the chords or something, and something that's gonna give it more body. Alright, so we just got this atmosphere sound. We took the exact same thing we had on the piano, but then we moved it up an octave and we grabbed this key, this chroma key. I'm not really sure which. It's from one of these banks. I'm not sure which, but yeah, it's a good sound. I like it. And we're going to use it. It sounds like this. After we put the chorus, brought the default chorus down like 40%, and then my retro color slight detune they like to use, and then there's some basic EQing. Yeah, that's why that sounds good. Let's maybe add one more thing. Um, let's go to, I want to go to an Electra Bank. I want to go grab an ARP, but weirdly, no, it's not from the Music Nick and Drop an ARP Bank that you can get for free at MusicNickBeats.com and that you should get from MusicNickBeats.com for free. We're going to go to Roy Major, Pluto, Electra Bank, and let's grab, he's got some really crazy ARPs in here too. So let's uh, mess around with some of these with this octave hired version. Default chorus, we're gonna bring it down. And then we'll go retro color, widen it. Simple EQ. Let's preach simplicity here and let's move on to the drums. Let's just leave it at those because that is pretty epic right there. You know, leave room for like a melodic type artist to go crazy on it. Let's add in some hard drums and leave that melody how it is. So we took this like long like see this is pretty much just like a rectangle there's like no no decay at all we just bring this out up and then we all of a sudden got this really hard 
but short and punchy, hitting 808. And that's what we're gonna use for this. All right, shit, I love this 808. Let's quickly, before we do the 808, do we wanna maybe change the, maybe transpose this? Down to A sharp. Most important thing we're going to do is the soft clipper on the master threshold 16.7 post gain 92%. Going to level that out. Maybe we'll add in one more thing. Maybe we'll add in an arcade. We'll see if there's anything that we like in there. We did that B yesterday with an arcade. It was pretty hot. So we'll see if we can uh, get another hooked in there. Get another little vocal chop in there. That sounds good with this. Go back out that same one that we used yesterday. I did like it. And now we're in, are we in A sharp minor? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. All right, it's not quite as like sad anymore with that in there, but it's fire as shit. Like, Loki, one of the most fire things I've ever done in my life. And with that halftime, well, that's crazy. So we'll turn that halftime off and we'll just like have that come in at like certain times. But like, that's all we need right there. We can like delete that. We'll split it by channel. Let's arrange this bitch out. half of this we'll make a little automation clip here for the half time we'll turn it on right here for the first half we'll turn off for the second half that's also when the kick will come in insane.
tour the first half so we don't have all that crazy high up stuff. beat we've got a nice intro and like a pre-chorus chorus verse pre-chorus chorus verse so like pretty much like yeah it's pretty much like the, the chorus and the verse are the same length and there's like a pre-chorus always that kind of like sets you up so it'll be a very catchy quick three minute song inspired by you know juice world and like rest in peace juice world man you know Appreciate y'all. It's music, Nick. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what kind of beat you're trying to see in the future. I think we're going to be on this sort of sad, trap, melodic wave for a little bit. At least probably for the rest of this week. But, you know, let me, wait, let me know what you're trying to see in the future. Don't forget, Slano Sample Pack and other stuff available at musicnickbeats.com. So go check that out in the sound kit section. And, yeah, man. Hit the subscribe button. Tune in for those beats and uh, all these videos and the cookups shit. So, uh, appreciate y'all. Music, Nick. Here's the final beat until next time out of here. Peace. What's good?